Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript Intro Question Series. This is question number 23, where we want to double swap the given values. So in this string, if a nine is there, replace it with zero. If zero is there, replace it with nine. Take a pause and try to solve it yourself. Then we will be solving this problem in two different ways. First way I want to show you is using a for loop. For that, let's create a new method called swap values, which is a arrow function. And this method takes three parameters. One is the string, then the value one, and then the value two. And let's call it also with the required parameters. So one is this text argument, and then nine and zero, because we want to swap nine with zero and zero with nine. Now inside the method, I want to create a empty string first, which will be our result also. Now I want to iterate over the uh, this string, and for that I'll be using a for loop. So let's write. And inside the for loop, I'll be adding the conditions to replace nine with zero and zero with nine. So first of all, the first if condition would be if string at i equals to value one means if the string at index i equals to value one, which is nine. So this condition would be true only when this loop sees a nine in the string, then I want to replace that nine with zero, correct? So for that, we can write result equals to result plus a value two. Okay, else, if second condition would be for value two, so I can copy the first condition and replace it with value two. So if the value at string i is equal to value two, then I want to replace that with nine. For that, I'll again copy this condition, paste it here, and instead of v1, I'll write v1. Okay, and finally, we can write our else condition, which would be if it's neither v1 or neither v2, in that case, we just want to return whatever it is. So I can write a result plus string at i. Okay, and after the for loop, I can return the result. The space here. And now this return result, we can console log. Save it. Now you can see the, we have the expected output. 9 has been replaced with the 0, and 0 has been replaced with 9. By the way, we can also write this line in a shorter syntax. So that would be result plus equals to v2. Similarly, we can write for v1 as well. OK, so you will get the same result. OK, guys, the second way I want to show you is using the map method. So for that, I'll be commenting this logic for your reference. And now we can write a map method. And map method runs over an array, right? But we have a string. I can use a spread operator and wrap them into an array. So here I can write like this. OK, this will give me an array of all these uh, numbers. Then I can run the map, which takes the value. And here I can check if value equals to value 1. In that case, I want to return v2. Otherwise, value equals to v2, lowercase v2. Then I want to return v1. If nothing satisfies, then I want to return the value itself. Okay, so this is the ternary operator. Now let's save it. It has an error that v2 is not defined. OK, this should be in the lowercase. And now let's save it. Of course, we have to return something to get something, correct? So let me return and clear the console and let me save it. So guys, now you can see we have an array, but we want a string, correct? So for that, I can join the array and save. Now we can see we have the expected output. So guys, these were the two different ways to solve this problem. If you know any other way, to solve this problem, please comment below.